Hey, howdy. Hey, everybody. Today we'll be reviewing Robin from True Movies DC Batman's Missions, Batman's 80th year anniversary. Robin. Here's a quick look at the box. I've yet to open him up, so we'll get to do that together. He has 11 points of articulation. It's funny about these stances. We'll get into that here in a second. And the reason I said it's funny, oh, they also offer Batgirl, but not the Batman in this series. They already make a Batman, so I'm assuming they'll just use the original Batman. But the reason I am amused by these stances of this toy is because it says here, this figure may not stand as shown. <laughs> Alrighty, this was a gift from my beautiful wife, Mrs. C., So, let's not hesitate anymore. Let's cut into it. Oh, you like my color scheme. We got red and green because of Robin and because it's my favorite colors. And sorry about the uh, vertical video. It should have been horizontal. But I wanted to be able to get this whole beautiful figure into the picture. So let's open him up here. Ah, if I can, try to be gentle. Oopsie. Oh, you know what? Let's just rip into the box like this. I used to save the boxes when I was younger. Okay, Robin comes with a lot of little ties, so we have these things, just so that we can get to them and get to him lots quicker. These aren't wires, these are rubber bands. Alrighty, let's see if he'll stand right out of the box. Yes, he will. Look at that fella. Cape still floating there. Let's check out the cape. Let's just start with the cape. It's cloth. Almost transparent. You can almost see through it. Doesn't really give. I like the little scallops on the end. Kind of like Batman. I think it would be better if it's Robin if it was shorter or longer. And that's the question right here. Is this Robin... Dick Grayson. Is it Tim? I don't think it's Drake or uh, Damien. Which Robin do you think this is? Alrighty. Let's do some looky. 360 degree, 360 degree, 360 degree. His arms only go out to here. He has a bend in the elbow which rotates that's good nothing in the forearm his hands do a 360 degree turn oh look at that he can do some kicks we have a 45 degree bend in the knee he can kick straight out but that's as far back as he can go. So if he's running, pew, he's going to be going fast. Alrighty. We have a nice pattern at the boots. Now, I wish he had peg hose. So that if we had a stand, we could stand him up in a position and use the peg hose to get him. He doesn't come with any accessories. The thing about this Robin 
is he's very accessible. Twelve dollars. See, I never understood the plastic to pennies ratio. Ratio? Ratio, yeah. Because, oh, let's get some of these little doohickeys out of the way here. Because this Robin is twelve dollars. But this piece of plastic will cost you twenty-five dollars. Then you have this Batman, which will cost you about twenty bucks. So I never understood the plastic to pennies ratio. How do they go about figuring out exactly how much something like this is cost? Let's look at the paint apps. He has a metallic finish to his mask. Nice hair sculpt. Now on the box, and it also says on the box that the paint apps might be different. You can see that the uh, gold goes all the way down, but it doesn't on the toy. A lot of great details. Pockets on the legs, the knee pads, the designs in the boots. I wish maybe they had painted this to match that. But that's not, a, overall, not a bad figure at all. There is no articulation in the ankles, so stances are going to be difficult. Let's see if we can get him in a cool stance here. I wish he'd come with like a, a bow staff or something. That's not a bad pose. Just throwing him up there real quick on an uneven surface. That's pretty good. What do you all think? Who do you think this is? You think it's Dick Grayson? You think it's Tim? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> he fell down and went boom. I actually intend to possibly replace this cape with something a little more substantial. Maybe doing a wash on some of this. Finishing out the gold. Maybe making his belt, utility belt, match the gold on his outfit. Maybe bring out a little dry brush to bring out the details. Overall, I'm very pleased with this. Let's uh, see how tall he stands. Mm, I'm looking at about, looks like about maybe 10 and a half inches. Pretty good bang for your buck. If you're interested, go pick you up one. This is the first one out of these series that I've ever got. I've seen them. I've seen hundreds of them. From Marvel to DC to video games. But this is the first one I've ever got. Y'all let me know what you think. Be amazing. Be playful. And as always, be good to one another.